Do y'all remember a song from the 80s on country music radio by Eddie Rabbit? I believe it was Eddie Rabbit who sang, I love a rainy night. Listen, on the sunlight. It's a rainy afternoon. How does Eddie feel about rainy afternoons? Huh? Follow-up hit, perhaps? Welcome, folks. Welcome back. We're going to shave today. Just, you know, normal shaving stuff. Got my shaving attire on. I just got my hair cut with my kids. No, my kids didn't cut my hair. I went with them. Guess where I went? Super cuts. That's right. I've been to the fancy barber shops. I've paid upwards of $29 on a haircut, and I, I, I left with a haircut. And then I decided, well, what about super cuts? Let's go to super cuts. It's cheaper. Look at that. She did a great job. She, you know, she cut my hair. She cut kids' hair. We all got the same haircut, me and my boys. All walked away with the same haircut. Now, what we do with it afterwards is different. I spike mine up a little bit. You know, in that Kip's big boy, Bob's big boy look. That's what I'm looking for. Got a stray hair right there. Let's fix that with some... No, don't have hairspray. All right. Well, let's shave. But today we're going to do something weird. Today we're uh, trying to figure out what to do. It's a rainy afternoon. Fourth uh, of July was last week. It rained. It poured in the middle of Fourth of July. My band was playing and we... We didn't get wet because we were under a carport, but we had a good time. We had a good time playing in the rain for a couple hours. For the nice folks in my neighborhood, we've had a neighborhood um, 4th of July party for the past 61 years. Yeah. Wish you could have been there. It was fun. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do today, got a haircut, got a shower, it's raining outside. We're going to use Barbasol. Barbasol? Barbasol? Hey, wait, I, I was looking into Barbasol and what it means. Barbasol, and I can't remember what it means. It's like barber and uh, a parasol, I believe, you know, which is fitting for a rain. You know, a parasol is a, an umbrella. No, it was something else. What was it? It was like Barber's Solution, I think is what it was. It was like the Barber's Solution. If you didn't want to use, uh, you know, shaving soaps, this is the solution right here. It's in a can. But today we're going to do something weird. So I just, right when I was taking a shower, I was trying to figure out what we were going to do today. I didn't shave today yet. It's about uh, almost two o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't shave yesterday because it was Sunday and I was lazy. And so I was thinking, well, what are we gonna do? And I thought, has anyone ever tried to shave using a brush and Barbasol? I mean, there's no reason to, right? What would happen if we did? What, what would happen if I used a brush and canned Barbasol? That's like sacrilege to the, the real heavy duty uh, wet shavers on YouTube that have their their shave den. I'll show you my shave den sometime. It's about five products right behind my phone right now in the uh, medicine cabinet. But uh, I don't, wouldn't say I have a shave den, nor do I have a man cave. I've got a man corner. I'll show you that man corner sometime. But today, let's just do this and use the old Rockwell. Let's get all three in here. Group photo. All right, let's try this. I don't know how to do this. I'm going to get my brush wet. My face is wet. I just put some water up on it, and I'm going to do this. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. It's like whipped cream. Has anyone ever shaved with whipped cream? Maybe that's the next video. Let's shave with actual whipped cream. It'll be a YouTube sensation. It'll be a meme, and everybody will get in on it, and we'll all be rich and famous. All right. Let's do this. Sorry, I'm just spreading it out a little bit. Let me put some more water on my face. Just to, you know, see what happens. All right. It's going on like Barbasol does, but does the brush add anything to the experience? Um, no. It's just kind of uh, thinning it out. Does it need more water? Let's just go with it. Let's see what happens. Does it need more Barbasol? I think so, it's a little bit thin. It's a little bit thin and a little bit dry because you're not supposed to do that with a brush because there's no like reserves in the brush now. When you use a shaving soap, you know, the old shaving soap, you got reserves still left in your brush for a second or third pass, but doing this crazy thing, you're just gonna have to squirt some more Barbasol on it. I know I'm not sponsored by Barbasol. I know what you're saying. You're getting that comment ready. You're a shill for Barbasol. I wish I was a shill for somebody, man. I mean, I'd be getting paid, right? Is that what a shill does? Gets paid to talk about things? I don't know. All right. Well, you know what? It's shaving pretty well. 
Maybe it benefits from being spread thinner on the face. Now, do you need a brush to spread it thinner on the face? No, you can just use your fingers. This is a whole new experience, my goodness. You can hear it. I got a question for you. I had a comment um, recently from one of my viewers, hopefully subscriber. He said, I say he, they said that I want to see a video where I have a four day, this me, I, I have a four day growth where you said, I want to see you four day growth beard, um, drinking coffee with Dave Brubeck playing in the background and no talking. Is that a subtle hint that he wants me to shut up? No, like it, like he wants to hear a silent video. Is that something you want to see? Notice I said see, since all you'll be hearing is the, uh, like I don't do ASMR videos, but that's the closest thing to an ASMR video, I think. I'm not gonna start doing ASMR videos, okay? Do you guys get affected by those ASMR videos? You know what I'm talking about? Just type in ASMR, you'll see like 900,000 videos on YouTube. It's when people whisper or like do crinkly things with packaging or shave or, and it gives them tingles, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, do you want to see a video where I don't even talk? Or do you like when I talk? Or can we have both? Can we have one where I don't even talk? Like I don't say a word? I just whisper through the whole thing. <laughs> I'm not, not going to do that. Anyway, just think about it. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. So there's the first pass. You know what? It's pretty good. I don't think I'd do it, you know, very regularly. But let's try it again. Second pass. Let me get the, some water on my brush again. Now I got to do this. You gotta reapply the Barbasol. Let's just do it. Barbasol is cheap. Or should I say Barbasol is inexpensive? Barbasol is, Barbasol, I keep saying Barbasol. Barbasol is affordable. A Barbasol is a whole other thing. It's like something you wrap around your shoulders to stay warm when you're a grandma. I gotta get my Barbasol on. It's, there's a draft in the house. Ignore that last voice. All right, now that looks better. I think there was just the right amount of water in my brush that time. And it looks like there might even be some reserves left for a third pass. Well, stay tuned to find out. Clickbait, will he do a third pass? So everyone's clamoring to know. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, there you go. You know what I'm feeling though, as I'm using this Barbasol, I'm feeling the blade a little bit more, it seems. And I'm not sure why that is. Maybe I need to put a new blade in. And also to the, to the friendly person that offered me a whole thing of feather blades. Well, I still got like a ton of those things, so I don't need any right now, but thank you very much for your generous offer. And maybe, maybe if somebody can comment below that does want um, this, this, this gentleman's extra feather blades, then uh, I can facilitate that. I can be the middleman. So leave a comment below about uh, whether you want to see a video of me just not talking at all, just shaving, drinking coffee at the same time, and listening to Dave Brubeck. And also, um, if that gentleman still would like to pay it forward, as they say in the shaving community, P-I-F, then maybe somebody can get a a package of feather blades if they've never tried them before. I get a lot of comments of, uh, of people telling me all the different blades they like to use, and I love reading them. Because that's what it's all about, is learning, you know? It's all about learning what everybody's doing and trying something out for yourself. All right. I'm going to do a little uh, under the nose. Take care of that. So all of you Americans, how was your 4th of July? Your Independence Day, as they say. Did you have a good one? Did you get rained out like we did here in Austin? Because it poured out. Oh, Houston got really bad. That's the last thing they need is more rain down there after Harvey last year. 
All right. I'm gonna need to trim my ear hair with my little, hold on, let's do that. You gotta, you gotta trim. This is my favorite use of this electric razor. Trimming stray little ear hairs that start to grow. As you get older, you gotta do it more and you gotta stay on top of it, fellas. Ladies don't want a guy with big, gross, hairy ears. <laughs> Believe me. There, it's just that easy. Clean it. Oh, it's got a little clippers in the back. Look at that, boing. Clean it out, put it under the water if you need to. That's it, folks. I got more, more foam in it. Let's see how much foam is left. Oh, there you go. It's a little bit runny, but that's all right. Okay, I'm gonna wash off with uh, cold water, as I always do. And then, the piece de resistance, the thing of which I have gone a complete 180 since that very first video where I tried it the first time. Yes, you know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Talking about the Osage rub. I love this stuff so much now. I am a complete convert. Let me show you how much I put in there. But, uh, can you see that? If I tilt my end too much, I'll spill out. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, there's that burn. That first burn that I was so frightened by the first time. So scared. And then, if it's hot, put a little bit on the back of your neck. Somebody told me that. This stuff is starting to migrate. I'm starting to put it on my shoulders, put it on my wrists. It's starting to migrate downwards. That's how much I like this stuff. I'm gonna be all over tingly, baby. And I wanna try that snake bite stuff. I think it's called Fine, but it's like $25 for a bottle that much. I think maybe what I'll do is just buy some menthol crystals and make my own. But anyway, that's it. Still raining, listen. ASMR raining shaving videos. That's my new thing. Is this too close for comfort? <laughs> And sorry to the, to the guy that watches me on his big 78-inch TV with HD and Bose 5.1 surround sound. It's got to be creepy. I don't want to be that close to myself, let alone. That's it. I kind of want to put a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit more. Oh, sage rub. I'm kind of getting into this whispering thing. I see. All right. Oh. Mm. Can you drink this stuff? No, you shouldn't. Don't drink it. Probably make you so sick. It's mostly alcohol though, but don't drink it. If you have a problem, don't have it around. That's it. That's a crazy Barbasol brush shave. I wouldn't recommend it. You don't need to do it. But it was something new to try, and I'm glad you joined me for it. So stick around. Um, I still got a few things planned in the pipeline, and I'm just going to keep making videos as long as you keep wanting to watch them. And if you have any suggestions, my eyes are watering from the Osage rub. The menthol is rising, as well as going down the body. Um, but not on camera. Uh, yeah, if you have any ideas of things you want to watch, I'm open to all kinds of suggestions. And uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and join me next time.